And from there, Raven falls in love with her uh, knightly prince or whatever. Uh, guys it's me um starting this vlog off on monday september 2nd i uh my hair looks awful sorry i just woke up i decided to start the vlog early um because i was just really excited and i kind of wanted to show you guys the prep that i'm doing up to leaving for Bugnet Fest and like some of the books I'm reading before we leave and then I'll show you the like like the trip to Bugnet Fest and then what happens at Bugnet Fest so this is gonna be like a whole a whole week vlog so let's, let's hope I can keep up with this and I don't screw it up but um for today uh I have to go into work at four um I know it's Labor Day but they scheduled me I get extra pay, so I literally don't care at this point. I'll do it. Uh, and I'm working until 7 or 8. I can't... I don't... I always forget when we close. Especially because Barnes & Noble keeps changing their hours. And so I'm like... Oh, but what time do we really close? So... I think it's like 7 or 8 that we close. And then I'm there until like probably 7.30. I don't know. Either way, I'll be there. Um, last night... So I finished my first book. So in case you, you missed it, I signed up for... Three, technically four readathons. <laughs> um, I'm going to be participating in Monsterathon, which is run by Kate from Chapter Kate. Uh, Harry Potter, or no, the Hogwarts House Battles, um, the Zodiacathon, which is taking place this weekend, while I'll be while I am at Booknet Fest, and then I signed up for the Avatar: The Last Airbender readathon. But I'm on the White Lotus team, so I technically like am not like gaining points or anything. I'm just like participating along. Um, so. I don't technically have to like earn points for that. I just I'm just reading, so I'm just gonna count all the books that I read for the other readathons towards that. And for the for Monsterathon, I'm on Team Conspiracy, and then for House Battles, I'm Team Hufflepuff, of course, because that's my house. And so I finished my first book last night, um, which is part of my Fall TBR. A lot of the books that I'm going to be reading for these readathons correspond with my Fall TBR, just because I wanted to make my life a little easier, um, and I wanted to actually give myself a chance to finish a TBR for once. So. First book I finished was Kissing Goffins 2 by Ellen Schreiber. Um, this is not that big, which is why I picked this up first. This is a reread for me. I'm trying to get through this series so I can read the last book because I've read all of the books except for the last one. And so I just need a refresher because it's been a minute since I've actually read the series. And so this was one of the sticks that I pulled, one of my series sticks. But uh, I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars because I literally adore this series. This, <laughs> this series is good. I will say the writing is so cheesy, but I also take into account that she's a 16-year-old girl who, like, romanticizes vampires in horror movies. So I also, like, keep that in mind as I'm reading. But it's just funny, like, some of the language or wording she uses. And I'm just like, wow. I'm glad I wasn't like this as a teenager. I hope, At least I hope it wasn't. But still good. still fun. So I'm excited I got that done. The next book that I'm probably going to pick up is Cracked Out to Be by Courtney Summers. Um, I, uh, Sylvia from Wishful Moment recommended this to me as my t part of my TBR, and I've been wanting to actually read this for a while, and it honestly doesn't look that big, so I figured I would throw this one on the pile and start that today. Um, I'm slowly, I'm like picking up my shortest books for right now, just because I'm out of stack of books that I'm bringing to Book Fest with me. Uh, I just, yeah, and I don't want to like touch them yet, so I'm like, I'll just start with my shorter books, plus like, I'm like also trying to work and prepare for packing and stuff like that. Plus trying to figure out what we're gonna do about this hurricane because literally the path that we were supposed to drive down is the path the hurricane is hitting. <laughs> Cause we we're supposed to go through, I think like North Carolina and then South Carolina and then a little bit of Georgia before we hit Florida. And literally the whole path is gonna be covered by the hurricane. So I don't know what we're gonna do yet. I think we have to figure that out today. But yeah, so I decided to pick up the smaller books for right now just to give myself a little, little leeway, a little time and not overwhelm myself. I can show you guys the books that I will be bringing. Um, probably won't show you the clothes I will be bringing because you guys probably don't care, which is fine. Uh, and then I'm probably gonna bring my bullet journal. Eventually, I'm gonna like I want to get so Haley from Haley Marie showed me this like stand, like desk, uh, phone holder thing that she has that she uses to film for her bullet journal. So I think I might get one of those and then start filming my spreads because why not? Um, it's just gonna I'll probably get it within the next couple weeks with one of my paychecks maybe. So it didn't seem super expensive, so I might try that after this trip. Um, 
I think that's all I have to update you guys with for right now. So let me just show you what books I'm bringing to you book fest, and then uh, I'll let you go and update you later. I'm bringing Someone Like You by Sarah Dustin because I'm buddy reading it with Carrie and Haley. So I figured it would be a good uh, thing to bring and at least start. I also keep in mind that like I don't like I'm probably not gonna read all of these, but I can at least start one or two of them and then like just finish them when I get home. Um, I've already read this. If you watched my July wrap up. Um, I think I'm bringing this just to give away or something, I'm not sure yet. I'm bringing one Dark Throne because uh, this was on my TBR and this was one of the series I pulled, so I figured I'd bring a fantasy. Um, and then I'm bringing Red, White, and Royal Blue because uh, this was also on my TBR and I figured I would bring it. I don't know if I'm gonna, ooh, no, I don't know if I'm gonna start this because of the fact that I get really nervous when I read books around people who absolutely adore them. And literally all of my friends have read this book except for me. So I'm a little nervous to try and read it around them because I don't want them to like, like I hate that, like not that they would do it on purpose, but you know, sometimes like when someone's reading your favorite book and you just stare at them or you like pester them and you're like, ooh, what page are you on? Like, what do you do? Like, how do you feel so far? Blah, blah, blah. And you do that. I don't want people to do that to me because it'll make me like one, it'll annoy me and it'll make me like the book less. Um, and it'll make me feel pressure to read it, which will make me not want to read it. So I'm bringing them this just in case I get some downtime by myself and I can pick it up, but otherwise I'm not sure if I'll open this. Um, and then the, the next book I'm bringing is My Hero Academia, the graphic novel volume one, and I'm bringing this because uh, there's a graphic novel prompt for Monster Thon, and I figured this would mean it, and also I just wanted something short and sweet to read just in case I don't get to open these books, I can have something short to read for a minute, um, maybe on like downtime or something. And then, oh, and then I have my last book that I'm bringing. So I got an arc of The Beautiful from Penguin Teen uh, this week, and oh my gosh, guys, it's so beautiful. I'm so grateful. It came in this really beautiful box, and I'm just hella excited to read this. So I'm bringing this with me as well. So I don't know if I'm gonna get through it all, all, but I at least want to start it this week as well and then just kind of continue on and finish it hopefully soon um, but I'm so excited I love vampires like I'm a big Twilight fan if you haven't like noticed yet at all on my channel um, as you can tell with the original poster hanging on my wall right there I uh, got really hyped into the vampire train like I, I got really attached to the vampire train um, right after Twilight so I read like Vampire Kisses and Morgan Mill Vampires and Vampire Academy and just so many vampire books and then like of course the vampire phase ended and we moved on to other things which was fine but I'm so glad that it's kind of coming back and like this is like the first one so far I don't know if it's the first one but like this is the first one I've been interested in so far so I'm excited to read this and check it out it sounds super interesting to me um and so I'm just like excited and really thankful to Penguin Team for sending me this because I wasn't even sure if they were gonna say yes and they did and I was like holy crap that's awesome so bonus points um but yeah so those are the books that i'm gonna be taking here i'll put this over the pot on the, on the pot. so these are all the books that i will be taking with me um <laughs> yeah hopefully i can read some of these i'm not gonna like hope to read all of them but at least want to start two maybe three if i'm lucky um but we shall see i'll also be listening to harry potter on the audiobook probably during the drive down when i'm driving just so I can work through that, because I'm all, I'm not going to say I'm almost done, but I'm a good chunk of the way through the book, the fifth, uh, the fourth one, The Goblet of Fire. And so uh, that's my plan, too. And then there's these I'll just work on whenever I have downtime or like just want to go away and read and stuff. So fun times. I'm really excited for Book Night Fest. Again, not sure what's going to happen with this hurricane, <laughs> uh, but still excited. So I'll update you guys later. <laughs> It's me updating you a little bit later. It's currently almost one. Uh, I am, I started Cracked Up To Be so far. It's really interesting because I like, I think I have an idea of like what's happened to her, but I'm not positive. So I need to read more to figure it out. I'm also watching some booktube and then I also started the second Harry Potter movie. So <laughs> I'm chaotic right now. I in case you don't know, I am reading through the Harry Potter series for the first time this year. I'm currently on the fourth book, uh, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. And I decided that for the previous books, I didn't do the thing where you watch the, or you read the book and then watch the movie. So I am going to just read, 
or I'm just gonna watch them all and catch up for all the books I've read and then once I finish Goblet of Fire I'm gonna read that one which I realized that I haven't seen uh movies like three through seven eight I can't remember how many movies there specifically are but I haven't seen any of the movies past the second one in a really long time so I'm getting like yeah, so it's gonna be very refreshing, like it's gonna be a refresher for me, and I'm gonna like, I can't remember, especially Goblet of Fire on, like I don't remember anything that happens, like I remember the big things, but nothing, not the little things, so it should be interesting to see what, uh, I forgot, my mom went to the store without me, so I'm just chilling here, I guess, until they come back, and I guess we'll see what happens, oh my gosh, I also want to show you guys, so last week I went to go see Teresa, uh, because I was lonely, and I just decided to take a spur of the moment trip down to see her and we went to a bookstore and I found these and it was like a second hand shop I found these I found so I found three of these I found one for Sailor Mercury Sailor Mars and then Sailor Jupiter which are the Sailor Scouts from Sailor Moon in case you need to know and these are like little like meet the Sailor Scout guides and oh my gosh they're so cute and I just bought them all because they were like a dollar each so I was like why not but oh my goodness I was like what are the odds that I would find these they're like little mini like I don't want to say graphic novels, but like they kind of, here, I'll show you the inside of one, if I can. So like, they kind of like show you like images from the show, like, and they're like favorite moments, and they give you facts about the scouts, and they like uh, talk about their personalities and stuff like that, and like go through like their uh, clothing styles. It's like really cool, so I'm super glad I found those, and I was really excited, so I needed to like tell you guys about them, because I'm a me. <laughs> but... Yeah, that's all I've been doing for right now, so I guess I'll just check in later. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do, oops, excuse me, I don't know if I'm gonna do check in before I go to work, but I guess we'll just see if I do. Hey, it's me, checking in one more time before I go to work. I am a good chunk through uh, Cracked Up To Be by Courtney Summers. I'm like 80% through. There's like 200 pages, 214 pages, and I'm on page 174, so I'm doing pretty good for the day. Uh, I'm just gonna mark it in my, bullet journal and then I'm going to get dressed for work because I gotta go um I watched a couple more booktube videos and then I like paused Harry Potter because I couldn't I couldn't pay attention and read and do so many things so I decided to focus on one and that is okay but yeah so that is my plan I'll probably update you guys after work maybe I'll record some clips while I'm at work I don't know yet we'll see hey guys it's me back from work finally um I literally just got home, so it was raining and storming in traffic, so it took a minute, but I'm here in my bed. Uh, I didn't get to read anything at work, um, but I'm going to try and finish the rest of Cracked Up To Be tonight. I think, like, I literally don't have that much left of it, like, so I'm going to finish that tonight, and then, um, ooh, that's kind of loud. And then, um, then I'll probably start a new book or something, maybe. But uh, right now I'm gonna eat because I have food. And I'm gonna watch Harry Potter while I eat because I wanna relax a little bit before I like grind to get into the grind of reading. I don't know. Um, I got some packages too. Um, they're birthday presents for uh, some of my friends who are having birthdays this month that I'm gonna see at Booknet Fest. So I got their presents shipped to my house so I can, I'm probably gonna wrap them. I gotta find wrapping paper and uh, give them to them. So that's fun. Uh, fun story. I ran into a really old acquaintance today at work. Um, this guy, I like dated putting like serious quote marks around it because it was like middle school which isn't really dating uh i ran it into him today and it was really weird and really awkward and a blast from the past that i didn't want so that was fun i like had to like i wasn't actively avoiding him but at the same time like i was making sure i was busy enough that he couldn't come talk to me so yeah uh that was my life that is my life these things happen to me all the time guys I'm, i swear i'm not making it up but uh i'm gonna go ahead and eat and watch this movie and then i will update you later about readings and stuff
it's me updating you one more time before I probably will go to bed or something. I finished Cracked Up To Be by Courtney Summers. Um, originally, I thought I was going to give it four stars, but now that I've like had time to kind of sit and think about it, I think I'm going to go with a 3.5, mostly because I just wasn't a big fan of the main character. Um, if you, in case you don't know what this book is about, it's essentially about a girl who is just on a downward spiral. Like she's drinking, she's cutting class, she's like alienating herself from her friends, and it's all a, te a sense of her punishing herself due to something that happened that she blames herself for. And so you're kind of going through this book trying to figure out like what happened, and you like don't really know. Um, and you can't really like they're kind of like you kind of get tidbits as the story goes on but it doesn't really piece together until the end which I thought was good because like you it kept you interested <sighs> the hard thing was like the main character was just not likable to me and I know she was meant to be not likable I guess in a way but it was to the point where like where she, when she had like a redeeming moment it wasn't like I didn't see that as redeeming I just felt like that just made her kind of more terrible if that makes sense um like I don't want to spoil the ending but like essentially like she doesn't tell when something horrible happens to her friend like she doesn't tell anybody um and because of that something like extra horrible happens to her friend and so she basically spends the entire book punishing herself because she is guilty and, it, and it's like it's not even like oh this happened like a couple months it's been like I don't even know honestly how long it's been but I think I don't know it was just hard because if I think it's hard for me to relate because if I was in her shoes like I would have immediately told someone like I know for a fact I would have so like it's hard for me to think she like someone like she went so long without telling this thing that happened to her best friend like someone she loved so much that she feels so much guilt for like i don't know it's just it's suspicious i don't know it was it wasn't i i don't want to say i didn't believe it or it wasn't believable but it just like i don't know and for like no one to have like discussed it like when they find out the end nobody really like discusses it everybody's just like oh well it wouldn't have changed anything and i'm like eh, but like would it have if she had said something beforehand and like even if it maybe wouldn't have changed anything she still should have said something because like i don't know it's just my opinion. So I think I'm leaning towards a 3.5 with this one. Just because uh, some of, I think it's just some of the character reactions were like... Mm. And also like the fact that uh, just people were trying to be helpful for her, to her, but they weren't helping. Like it, it was like, it felt like they were being more, like they were verbally trying to, like they were doing more with their words than their actions in regards to trying to help her. Like they said all these things, how they didn't want her to do this and didn't want her to be like this type of way and whatever, but they never actually physically tried besides like telling her how much she's screwing up and telling her like that she needs to do better and that they want her to live and stuff like that. And it's like, okay, but like you guys didn't like, mm, I don't know. It's a whole thing. I just have thoughts. Maybe I'll talk about them later in my wrap-up, but yeah, I think, I think I'm going to go with the 3.5. So that's how I feel. It's okay. Um, I don't know what I'm going to read next. I might do one of the other books that I'm not taking to Book Net Fest, but I'm not sure yet. Maybe Howl's Moving Castle, maybe one of the e-arcs that I have to read. Uh, but we shall see, and I will let you guys know tomorrow. I have to work at 9 tomorrow, so I probably will not update you until later but I guess we'll see who knows hey friends it is me Lana checking in it is Tuesday the third I uh, just got home from work so I'm kind of tired <laughs> I haven't I didn't read anything I was at work from like 9 to 4 so 
didn't really have a chance to pick up a book or anything. I might pick up one in a little bit. I'm gonna like lay down for a little bit and watch some TV, but I'm trying to pick what book I want to read next. Uh, I have a couple of options. I can start Howl's Moving Castle. I can do Every Heart a Doorway. I can do Exit Pursuit by a Bear. That one I don't think I'm gonna do for any challenges for these readathons. I can't remember, but I have options. I'm trying not to start any of the books that I'm planning on taking to Booknet Fest just because I don't want to start them and then like not have time for them I guess I don't know but I'm still trying to figure it out uh, but yeah I think that's my plan for the uh, rest of the day night whatever I think I might watch the third Harry Potter movie I finished the second one yesterday so all I need to do now is read is watch the third one finish reading the fourth one which I think is Goblet of Fire and then watch and like go from there if that makes sense so i think that's my plan um i need to watch booktube stuff too because i'm failing at that which is not new um yeah that's all i have for you guys i guess right now i don't know if i'm gonna open anything but i'll keep you guys updated Hey guys, it's me again, updating you a little bit later. I still haven't read anything. Probably gonna pick up something soon, hopefully. Uh, I tried playing Kingdom Hearts. I got frustrated and I stopped because I kept losing, so. So I had to take a break. I'm currently just watching Full House. Back when Aunt Becky wasn't doing illegal things. Hey guys, it's me checking in again. I am currently just watching Full House. I have decided to binge the series, so I am on the third season, which is fun. And I just started Every Harder Doorway, which I'm interested about because I really don't really know what this is about like I get the concept but at the same time I'm like I don't get it but I'm interested to see so far um, I'm only a couple pages in but um, it seems interesting so I think I could finish it probably not tonight because it's like almost 10 maybe 9 30 ish um, but maybe like tomorrow I don't know see the issue is okay so tomorrow I'm going to work and then I'm driving straight to Teresa's house and then we are dry like leaving at like one in the morning to start driving to florida and she's gonna take first shift because i cannot drive that early slash late um so i don't know when i'm gonna be able to finish this but we shall see i mean maybe i can read it on the drive maybe <laughs> if not i'm gay my hope is to finish harry potter on the drive because it's a seven hour drive and i'm gonna drive at least some of that so i'm sure like i can get the audiobook listened to like a good chunk through hopefully so that's the plan so i don't know what i'm gonna be able to pick this up but i think i'll bring it along why not just bring an extra book <laughs> uh and figure it out so we'll see but uh maybe i'll check in one more time before i go to bed and tell you guys how far i've gotten i don't know yet but we'll see Hey guys, editing Alana here. I forgot to update you before I went to bed, but I actually ended up finishing Every Heart of Doe, so keep an eye out for that rap, for that like review and my wrap up and stuff. Okay, that's it, bye.